Hey everyone, Ari Labs here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Autodromo Prototipo Chronograph Collection. Um, currently there are four watches in this collection um, and these are sort of uh, 1970s automotive inspired um, watches that have uh, Japanese quartz movements in them. Um, so they're affordable um, and they have a cool style and the sort of Tano style case. So if you're if you're at all familiar or a fan of 1970s um, sport watches, something like this will be instantly familiar. Um, and Autodromo is, is also kind of a lifestyle brand. You know, they also do things like um, sell gloves. Here's here's their glove. It's a cool driving glove. Uh, I'll put it on. It's actually it's actually a very nice glove. Um, you can buy them from their site. Uh, I'll go out a little bit there. It's a cool glove. I bet it looks good with the, with the watches on as well, right? Um, so I really wanted to sort of show off this collection because um, I think there's a lot to like here. Um, people will often dismiss sort of, I guess you could say, lower priced um, watches or quartz ones because they think that they're um, not as good as mechanical watches. And, you know, that that's, that's a difficult thing to say because, you know, it really comes down to what you're looking for and what your budget is. Sure, if everyone's budget is, you know, uh, <laughs> is, is whatever they want to be, they're gonna go and buy some very fancy, extremely expensive high-end mechanical watch. But for a lot of people, spending several thousand dollars on a cool watch just sort of isn't in it for them. Um, so something like this, I think, is a great option. And you know, for a watch which costs several hundred dollars, there's a lot of quality here. I was actually quite impressed um, with the case, you have a 42 millimeter wide steel case and you have it's brushed around sort of the bezel area and then you have this uh, polishing strip there and there's more brushed um, finishing there. You get these sort of black uh, chronograph pushers. It's overall quite nice, the dial's great. One thing I would have liked is a little bit more AR coating. You can see there as I move around the crystal, um, there's a little bit of glare and you could have got ridden that with some AR coating. But again, you, you, go back, you go back to the price. So among the various versions, you see that there's one here that has a black case, and each of these has, not all of them, but there's different straps here. So this one has this, what they call the, the racing strap with these portholes. Um, and this is this is definitely a neat one. I don't know this is the one, the best for everyday wear, but this black one with this um, racing strap is by all means the most uh, distinctive. And I like those yellow hands there. They're thin, they're legible. The dial quality is very good. You can see there that the hour markers have been applied. The movement is a Seiko chronograph. Um, what I like about it, is that instead of having a chronograph with a ticking chronograph hand, you have a, a sweeping one, so it's going to be a little bit more precise there um, in its ability to to measure time. And it, and this watch doesn't actually have a seconds hand, so you need to use that chronograph hand for the seconds hand. Rather, it has a um, a synchronized 24-hour hand, which acts as an AMPM indicator right here, um, the date. And then here would be the uh, the counter for the chronograph. It's a 60 minute counter there. Um, you gotta look really carefully to read all 60 of those little indicators there. Um, so that's the black version of the Prototipo chronograph. Um, I'm trying to think what my favorite one. It's really hard to say. I think each of these has um, some, some real distinct value to it. Um, but one of the reasons I like the steel case is you can see that polishing very, very well. On the black PVD one, it's just one, uh, one sort of polished surface. Um, you know, the components such as the strap and things like that are well done. There's definitely an attention to detail here. And this is a nice, I guess you could say, sort of more indie boutique brand, um, but you can see the attention to quality. And I think when a brand grows, it's hard to do that. You know, when you spend sort of the same amount of money on, I guess you could say, like a brand, uh, a larger brand watch, you know, maybe like a Seiko or a Citizen or like a Swiss Army watch or something like that, you don't get sort of the same love and attention that sort of a smaller brand who's able to put a lot more time and effort in each piece um, has. And so I, I think I think that getting a watch like this is cool because you get a cool style that's not really available otherwise. Um, very well curated kind of design. I think it's curation is really the best way of, of saying it because they put just a lot of um, attention into, into, into doing as much as they can um, with, with sort of the cost structure that they have. So again, this is the Autodromo, uh, the Prototipo Chronograph. Um, and these are the various models right now as of 2014, or I guess early 2014. And the price is $625. You can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.